like, guys, so what would I do with this thing? I would make it a hunter. It's already a hunter. I know whether it's like this or like this. So this is how I would have it set up if I was going to go hunting with a Benjamin Bulldog 357. And I've got a couple targets up there of things that you could actually take down with it. A coyote, a hog. Heck, you could probably go squirrel hunt with it too, but this will allow for that. All right, so let's go ahead and take some shots. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? So you can see them decently as well as the hit mark, except for the squirrel. It's kind of rough to see where the squirrel hit mark is, but I know where to shoot those things. I know where to shoot them things. All right, it is ready. Safety off. Coyote first. Now, my side in was a little left, so I'm going to aim a little right if you're asking, like, uh, why aren't you putting your crosshairs right on the center? Well, because. <coughs> I can't tell from here. Looks like that one might have been a little high, but I don't know for sure. So I'm going to just shoot them all and see what the results are because paper doesn't generally drop. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, and the squirrel. All right, let's go see where I hit those suckers at. So I got news for y'all. So I was wrong about where my shot placement, the point of impact was evidently it is sighted in because it's hitting exactly where I aimed it. So, yeah, they'd probably be de some dead critters with where I hit them. But this time, let's go ahead and hit them, aim in dead on and see what happens. And record. And there may be a little bit of a variance because as this thing gets depleted in air, the shot does tend to drop a little, so. All right, straight on, Yodi. Straight on, Pig -a Wiggle. And now for the squirrel. Now, the squirrel. I cannot really see the bullseye circle on it, so I'm just kind of guessing by the silhouette. So this one may not be as um, in the circle. <coughs> yeah, I think that was a little behind. Okay, let's go see what we got. So guys, check this out. So I thought that they, um, when I sighted it in, I thought sometimes I can be wrong. You know that? Yeah, well, I know that way more than I'd like to admit. Anyways, <laughs> I thought that, that um, it was shooting a little to the left, so I moved it a little to the right, and guess what? It shot a little to the right. So next time I aim dead on, and that's a dead coyote. And ah, this one's beautiful, right smack in the center of the bowl. That's a dead pig. And maybe this one's just a little bit low, and ooh, yeah, left. I have to check my right and left sometimes. A little low and a little left on that last shot, but both of those shots, that's, that's a dead squirrel and there may not be much of him left. So just for fun, because I love shooting metal steel with um, the thermals, because you can see the heat from the ammo hit the plate. So I'm gonna do that. It's a little bit lower on air, but I did get 20 shots out of this fella, so should be just fine as far as air. I don't think I cocked it, so let me, but this is a lot of fun to shoot at steel and watch the, the heat, the heat. <laughs> Just like that, isn't it so cool? Oh, guess what? I gotta reload, reload. And I need to hold it still long enough for you guys to see the full impact because I think I moved the, the gun and the scope's like, whoa, I'm not done looking yet something I should be used to using this thing for hunting after you shoot you look through the scope for a little bit so let's try that again all right here we go yeah 
Isn't that cool? Isn't that super cool? I got one mole. One mole. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's it. That's it. That is. That is the Benjamin Bulldog 357 cow with ATN. That's a complete hunting kit right there. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. That would be a dead coyote for sure.